Inevitably refers to people having access uh, to the system as users. Uh, we call them logins in easy security. There's uh, a reason for that uh, difference. Um, and when you need to add a new user, you create it inside the standard NAV table, and then we will pull them back into the easy security table. Um, one of the things is that a NAV user have unique ID. So when you delete a user and create it again, it will actually be a different uh, user um, for both NAV, of course, uh, but also for easy security. There's a way to solve that, and that's simply uh, to actually uh, remove the user um, from easy security, pull in a new one, and assign the permissions uh, that you used to have in there. I'll take a look at the logins uh, first in here, and I have uh, several people here in uh, the system that are already set up, but I want to add a new person. And you don't do that from easy security, you do it from the normal table in NAV in here. And you can see there's uh, the list of users up here is available. So I want to go here and add uh, a new person. And I have already uh, created this person, so I will just go in here and uh, add my user Sarah in here. I can actually assign permissions in here, uh, directly go assign a permission set if I wanted to, and that would actually be pulled back uh, to easy security, but I won't do that one in here. The thing about the unique ID, you'll be able to see that uh, in here, and you can see it's uh, currently ending with F3B up here. That's being the unique ID up here. If I go um, back to easy security, I will use the function to get new logins from live. This will also be done when you do a get new data from live, because that will be one of the things that it actually pulls back. And as I finish this process, I will be able to see Sarah is actually now in my list uh, of logins in here also. Sarah now was in here. And I can go uh, use all the normal features that we have in uh, EC Security to assign um, Sarah permissions in here, both using uh, groups and uh, company groups in here. As I now publish, uh, I will push uh, Sarah's permissions back out in the system in here. If I end up deleting the user again in here, so if I go back to my list of users and I take a look at Sarah in here, I can see this ending with F3B up here. If I end up deleting Sarah and go adding uh, Sarah again in here, I will see that this uh, ID actually uh, changes in here. So now it's E7E in here that is a uh, last digits of this one in here. If I go back to EC Security now and try publish permission, it will tell me that uh, data don't match in here and basically that one of the users, and you can see the E7E in here, is actually not matching in here. So the way to solve that uh, would be to go into um, Sarah. You can uh, copy all the si uh, assignment for it for that person, delete the person from easy security, get new logins from live, will pull back uh, the new user created with the new uh, ID in there. And I can go uh, paste my rows down here and it will assign those permissions in here. And I will now be allowed uh, to publish permission with no problem. So the way to solve this is basically to go in uh, and remove it um, inside easy security. And in that way, you'll be able to uh, finish the normal publishing of the user in here. It's really caused by the unique ID changing. So for NAV, that user is a totally different person in there, even if all the things you can see is still um, the part that is from easy security. That is uh, the user ID, the domain slash uh, username. So permission has been published now and everything works fine in here. If you go to the live parts of uh, 
easy security, you'll actually be able to see this uh, information also in here. And that's where you can now see that the user easy security know about is the one ending with E7E in here.